Heck yeah. Can I name a planet? Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, hot off the presses, Kepler, the planet finding machine, has found a new Earth. Wait, let me rephrase that. Prosa has found a non Earth Earth, or a Earth sized planet in the Habitable Zone, or the Goldilocks Zone. This porridge is just right, baby. Baby, I need your love. Newsflash. The Milky Way galaxy just got a little weirder. Active volcanoes. Enjoy. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. As the Kepler planet-finding fool of a satellite goes over a thousand exoplanets confirmed, we find not one twin Earth, but eight of them. Now, Twin Earth is a very controversial term, but I'm going to go ahead and use it anyways. National Post, talking about the world, trending. Kepler, Kepler 43-8b is a twin of Earth discovered this week, and it's only the beginning of human or post-human goals in space. Post-human? That sounds creepy. As you can see, we got a lot of new Earth twins. Most of them are bigger than Earth. Now, Kepler 43b... It's about the same size, but Kepler 442b and Kepler 440b are bigger. Now, I love this subject. The starry sky is now far more fascinating to us than it ever was to our forebearers. Well, I don't know about that, man. Sometimes knowledge demystifies things. And can you really say that the starry sky is now more important to us than it was to, like, the Mayans? I mean, most people depended on the stars, whereas we depend on smartphones and food stamps and government. Stars may seem just points of light, but we've learnt. Can you learn stuff? I learnt it, it, but we've learnt recently that most are orbited by retinues? What the hell is that? Retinues of planets, just as our sun is. Our galaxy probably harbors many billions of planets. The most fascinating question of all is, how many might harbor life, even intelligent life? Could Kepler 43-8b be part of the answer? How do you define intelligent life? I mean, we've been at war with each other since the dawn of man. Since that monkey threw the bone in the air in 2001, are we intelligent? You know, we fall for all the smoke and mirrors, divide and conquer, distract and discourage tactics of the TPPTB. TPTB. Are we intelligent? It's relative, man. Totally. Totally relative. Kepler 43b is a very Earth like planet whose discovery was announced this week. There's special interest in twins of our Earth, planets the same size as ours, orbiting other sun like stars. Yeah, because. We're probably going to need a new planet to live on soon, the way we're tearing this one up. Or is it us, or is it aliens? Now, you may laugh at the alien theory, but who benefits from making humanity hate each other so much? Not humanity. Who benefits from taking all the oil out of Earth when we all know we've got far greater technologies locked away in the vault? Think about that. Does it really make any sense to be taking all the oil out when you've got cleaner free your energies in the vault no so at this point i'm like are humans even doing this are humans even in control maybe it was a martian superbug or something kepler 438b is very earth-like is a very earth-like planet whose discovery was announced this week there's special interest in twins of our earth planets the same size as ours orbiting other sun-like stars kepler 438b is one of those it's 475 light years away and it's on an orbit in the goldilocks zone not so close to its star that water boils away, not so far that it's perpetually icy. Let me remind you, there are often times where science is totally wrong, and it is the last person to admit it. Granted, in their habitable zone theory, the habitable zone theory, only a planet like Earth or Ceres should be able to hold water. But you know what? There's water on Mercury, dude. There's ice on Mercury. There's water on Venus. There's an ice on Venus. So, your theory's broken. So, I point that out. You can announce it like five years from now and say, you know, you, you figured out that you were wrong. That's cool. 
I still love you, Sax. The only reason I put a boot in your ass is because I want you to do better. Not because I hate you. It was discovered by that small telescope on board NASA's Kepler spacecraft, which monitored the brightness of 150,000 stars for more than three years. Some stars underwent slight regular dimmings caused by orbiting planets that transit in front of them, blocking out a bit of their light. The Kepler data has already revealed many surprises. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Phil Plate noted over the slate astronomical discovery. Colon, Earth dash size planet found in its star's habitable zone. If you click on that, it'll embiggen it. And I don't know what that is. It sounds like a joke between him and his wife, which makes me feel uncomfortable. I have some cautiously exciting exoplanet news. Asterisk, asterisk. Astronomers have announced the discovery of a planet that is very near the same size as Earth and orbiting its star in the habitable zone. That is, at the right distance from its star to have liquid water on its surface. We don't know how Earth-like it is. Does it have $200 trillion in debt? Does every person on the planet hate each other, even if they've never met? Have they created a, tons of weapons to destroy the planet itself? You know, are they using dinosaur blood to power their cars? Do they have jetpacks? Though, time-space continuum just screwed me up. In addition, M dwarfs are the most abundant stars in our galaxy. Seven out of ten stars in the Milky Way are M dwarfs, although most can't be seen with the naked eye. Finding an Earth sized planet orbiting one relatively nearby has enormous implications in the hunt for extraterrestrial life. I just told you. We just took another step forward for them to be like, hey, we found aliens, and they're friendly, and they want to buy our Earth bonds. Some people call these habitable planets. Which, of course, we have no idea if they are, said Stephen Citizen Kane. We simply know that they are in the habitable zone. And that's the best place to start looking for habitable planets. Wow. Man, to think I just learned that without having to take your course, dude. That is awesome, Mr. Kane. Professor Kane. Since it's a littler sun, I wonder if it's a littler world and they're all littler people. Then, the dwarf name would be appropriate. And I would apologize publicly on my YouTube channel for making fun of the name Dwarf Planet for so long. But if they had far superior technology, they could still kick our ass. So stay vigilant, people. Dwarf aliens. They're possible. Hey, we know it's... And even if it is fantasy, it's fun fantasy. So come along with me, G.